he was a man who lived really on the other side of the law. Uh, his very first play, almost his first play, it's lost now so we don't know a great deal about it, that he wrote with Thomas Nash was called The Isle of Dogs and it seemed to be been uh, a satire on the court uh, and uh, it caused the most uh, terrible tumult. Nash fled to uh, Norfolk uh, when the authorities raided his lodgings and searched for manuscripts of the play. Johnson and another actor from the play were arrested and taken into custody and interrogated and probably subjected to torture. But they couldn't get any confessions out of him, they couldn't get a text of the play to prosecute him. There was a threat, however, that uh, all of the London theatres should be closed down. They were indeed closed down for a number of months. Not just the theatre at which the play had been performed, but all London theatres. And there was a further threat that all of London's theatres should be torn down because of this terrible satirical work that he'd written. So that was how he started his career and he went on um, constantly in trouble. Uh, even uh, during the uh, years of his maturity and during his last years, um, he um, got into further trouble through being in a sword fight with a fellow actor who he killed uh, out in Hoban in the fields and uh, he was, as he said, nearly at the gallows. At that time he converted to Catholicism, which was perhaps a slightly strange thing or at least a rather risky thing to have done at that particular moment when um, it's 1598 at a time when there was great suspicion of Catholic plots and great penalties uh, for, and for the next 12 years while he maintained his faith in the Church of Rome. Um, but uh, that brought him into contact with uh, a lot of people who were uh, uh, not in good credit at court. And indeed in 1605, just two and a bit weeks before the 5th of November and the gunpowder plot, Johnson uh, was at a supper party with all of the major conspirators. Th those were the people he was hobnobbing with. He must have had prior knowledge of the gunpowder plot. Um, after the plot was uncovered, Robert Cecil got him uh, to act as a go-between and try to fetch a Catholic priest to come to the inquiry. We think probably in order to persuade Guy Fawkes that it was time to confess and to release the names of others who were involved in the plot. By that time as it happened Guy Fawkes had been subjected to sufficient torture to make him want to speak anyhow. But that's the milieu of Johnson.